because I am being discussed in a manner of law, I feel it is fair that I discuss law. The first trial at birth is with the Alpha in our creation, whether it is in the, in the womb or of uh, an old age. The last is with the Omega, just before the inheritance and the rise, the fall, the rise again of our our deeds and the things that we do, whether it's good, bad, or ugly, everything in between the one who was and is and is to come. The four scores and the seven, and some people even go further into the everlasting cup between the two by law as the inheritance of our deeds upon our siblings, um, our friends, our foes, saying that someone claims that we are guilty and it is placed upon us or you. Um, the census was created by Santa Claus and related to the curse when law is guilty by only correcting the people and not the law being corrected by it. When the bold defend themselves in a right going by a constitution that has been created and and I'm not saying that law is necessarily always guilty. I'm, I'm just saying we have to think in an equal manner when it comes to law and civilization because there are two different types of civilization. Some people love to be outgoing and fun-loving and charismatic and full of art and festivity, and then others, not so much. And, and when this constitution is broken in the, in the staves called favor and union, the church is established by the one who had rendered truth for all people or unto the people as an, inherit, um, an inheritance to the guilty judgments that the law gets away with say that the law doesn't get corrected. It either goes into a jury or it goes into the people um, that the people may overcome or be defiled in such a manner. Whatever the cause, um, defend yourself in all defense to the accuser and the grave covenant is a simple method of wise to win the spirits. And when I say this, I don't mean that it is illegal or legal. Putting, making a grave out of an animal sacrifice and um, putting it upon yourself and making an image and then taking that image and praying it upon others. These are the laws that are discussed in the Exodus book with Moses where Aaron had taken over the head and we're not, I'm not necessarily sure, necessarily sure if Aaron is of an Irish or a Syrian. Only we could study to find out because Herod is the Assyrian that crossed Jesus Christ and made the gates open between heaven and hell through him, which is the covenants of David Wagliff's children. This is the king that Jesus Christ took took to heaven, and those are the people that have the key to sacrifice his name in order to sacrifice God's children, known as David Wagliff's children. Though the covenants are of David, of Abraham between Bel and Abby Bell and Mary Magdalene and all other tribes with the women that have been chosen, separate from Hebron, no one can say if it is their old people sacrifice less dominion has taken the head about us in this sacrifice, which is called the daily sacrifice in, in Daniel 12. Um, but a questionable circumstance exalted by such churches who practice these things. In a bad law, the inheritance either goes into the jury on behalf of the judgment 
and counsel. The party is equal in the oral board as Pythionis at birth or rebirth or or at um, resurrection. So the, the resurrected people have a right to face their accuser um, in all persecutions. Or it goes into the households that choose their ways and they sacrifice at Caesar's church as I explained a daily, daily sacrifice in the book of Daniel 12. A dead salvation rendered unto, unto God or unto Caesar who perishes the people by the use of its grave. These are the, are the things that, that, that the people are blinded by. They don't no longer see and this is, this is the simple waiver of the Persian prince's army when the churches come in and take over law and law is no longer being corrected and it's a constant bullying system over the people until they are covered up so much that they can't even help but, but to be happy about everybody's downfall which is established in the Bible to not praise and exalt those um, things when people are in a downfall and these are things that churches don't pray for they don't think outside of that box that they go into because they don't know civilization and it's not necessarily their fault it's just that they are blind like I explained to you they don't see these things that need to be corrected and they're never corrected and nothing gets done about it and we are slowly being led by the bit and bridle similar to the days of those militaries with the Persian armies and Hebron wars with the Perizzites at their side and and then again the deceptions and the, tr the treacheries and in, in the family when they they use family members against one another and we all become weak in the separations of our travels fighting such wars so it's hard to um, render yourself in such manners to stand up to these people and, and fight for a right um, going. It's better to stay close to your family in trials like this. However, if the family is overtaken and um, the poison is too much and you're the last one, it would be better to travel away they no longer want the family. They only want you. So, again, the law and the curse, the blessings, turn to 